hello lovelies welcome and welcome back again to my channel today's video i'm going to be showing you a very easy quick dessert recipe this is very easy to make and the outcome very soft fluffy and it's so delicious you will definitely love it so keep watching and please do not forget to like this video subscribe and don't forget to share all right, so the first thing you want to do is grab a large mixing bowl, go in with some eggs, sugar, a pinch of salt, and now we are just going to mix this for at least two minutes. Everything in this world will be okay. Can we be and after two minutes, I'm going to go in with some vegetable oil and then whisk again for at least 40 to 50 seconds. And at this stage, I wanna say a big thank you to all my amazing return subscribers and to my new members. Guys, thank you all so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Thank you for the likes, the share, and the comments. Guys, I don't take your support for granted. Thank you all so, so much for your genuine love and support. I really appreciate. All right, guys, so after whisking for about 50 seconds, I've gone in with some plain yogurt, vanilla extract, and then whisk again until it's nicely combined. And once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and sift in the dry ingredient. So into my sieve, I've gone in with some flour and then some baking powder. Sift that in and then I'll go in with a little bit of milk just to give it that fluffy and soft texture. And now you want to grab your hand whisk and whisk this until they're nicely smooth and combined. Alright, so if today is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video and please do not forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and join this beautiful family. Don't forget to like this video after watching and also share. Alright guys, so here are the apples we are going to be using. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel the apples, rinse them nicely and now we're just going to grate the apples. So you're going to be using the big side of your grater to grate the apple and once that is done, we will move to the next step. So if you have watched to this point and you're still watching, thank you so much for your genuine love and support. I really really appreciate and please don't forget to share and also like the video after watching. Alright so after grating the apples we will transfer into the batter and now gently fold that and mix until everything is well combined. Alright, so once that is done, next we will place a pan on the heat, add in some oil and you just want to use a paper towel to, you know, dry up the oil and now cut in the batter just like you're seeing on your screen. And this should be on low heat. It should be on low heat. Do not over pressure this otherwise it's going to burn and you're going to end up with non-beautiful pancake. Alright guys, so now you're just going to cut that in, allow the first side to cook until it's nice and brown and once you start to see bubbles forming on top of the pancake, then it's ready to be flipped. So flip and allow the other side to cook until nicely brown and then remove from the pan and transfer to a platter. Next we're just going to go ahead and repeat the same process until we are done with everything so this is a breakfast idea i am giving my kids this morning because the schools are on holiday so it's just going to be hot like <laughs> it's going to be hot like fire so the demands are going to be very very high this time this is what they request for this morning and i also decide to share with you so let me know the country you're watching from if the school's on holiday, if your kids are home, let me know the breakfast idea you want me to put out there for you to prep for your kids this holiday. All right, guys, so these are the pancakes. They are ready, looking so beautiful, and I love the flavor. And once you're done with everything, just 
you know you can just the top with some powdered sugar just top it with some powdered sugar and that's it this is very easy to make and it's very soft very very soft fluffy and it's so so yummy and these you can pair with jam nutella and have it with milk it's so so yummy or you can have it with juice it's so delicious all right so i hope you enjoyed this simple recipe if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please like share and don't forget to leave me a comment let me know what you think about this recipe and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you in my next video enjoy